Artificial selection has played a crucial role in the development of human civilization by providing an abundance of food. Under human selection, crops have seen drastic changes through evolution. For example, maize with larger grains and more nutrients. Molds play a crucial role in the creation of some of our favorite foods. Blue cheeses, for instance, are made with the mold Penicillium Roca 40. Populations specific to cheeses in this blue mold have been identified and shown to be genetically differentiated from molds isolated from spoiled food or silage. These cheese populations made better blue cheeses with more attractive aromas, showing that they have also been domesticated. Two different populations have been identified in blue cheeses. One of these populations is found in cheeses with the protected designation of origin, Roquefort, and has kept some diversity. The second population is found in all other types of cheeses worldwide, is more adapted to modern modes of production, and is constituted by a single fungal individual recently selected for its beneficial traits for cheese making. However, this means that all the genetic diversity that has been selected for centuries by cheese producers may be lost forever. And this single super strain cannot adapt anymore, as it has no diversity left. Actually, this strain has already lost much of its fertility. We were nevertheless able to cross the two cheese populations and generate hundreds of offspring, which has generated genetic and phenotypic diversity. In addition, we recently discovered a third cheese population of Penicillium roqueforti that has retained some genetic diversity in the Termignon blue cheeses made in the French Alps that are naturally colonized by the blue mold from the environment. The loss of diversity and degeneration due to a too strong selection by humans is even more dramatic in the white mold Penicillium camemberti used to make camembert and brie cheeses. This mold has indeed also been domesticated. It has evolved a new color and colony aspect, becoming white and fluffy. It has, however, even less diversity left, as a single albinos mutant has been selected and clonally propagated, leading to degeneration. It does not produce enough spores anymore to inoculate in cheese and has completely lost fertility. The detailed examination of molds and cheeses has demonstrated the importance of considering the long-term consequences of domestication and the preservation of genetic diversity in our food production system.